you are playing Valorant, you might have faced an issue where you were playing Valorant and your screen got stuck or started freezing or your game started running very very slow. So today I'm going to show you how you can fix that issue. So hello guys and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you how you can fix Valorant freezing in game. Firstly what you have to do is just simply right click on your desktop then go to display settings then scroll down and click on graphics then in the graphic settings just simply click browser go to the location where you have installed your valorant so for me is c android games valorant then live then shooter games then binary and win 64 then over here you will find valorant just simply click on that game and press add over here and it should be now added into your list now after it is added in your list just simply click on that and go to options and then choose high performance over here and press save so in any case if you're not able to find clicking on browser what you can do is just simply right click on your desktop application then go to open file location then it should take you to that place and from over there just simply copy this then open browser over here and over here you can just simply paste that then enter and it should open it then you can click this and press add the next thing that you have to do is right click on the valorant application then go to properties then go to compatibility then just simply check run this program as administrator over here and also check enable full screen optimization simply check those then press apply and ok and now probably your issue should be fixed but just in case if there is still that issue what you can do is just simply click on your search icon then search for updates then click windows update settings then just simply click check for update and check whether your windows is missing any latest updates or not and if it is just simply update your windows so as you can see i'm currently missing some updates so after downloading and installing all of the updates just simply restart your computer and then your issue should be mostly fixed so that's it Thank you for watching and do like and subscribe to my channel and take care.